Hello everyone, this video is in continuation to our videos uh, for grade 10th ICSC chapter absorption by roots we are going to start. We are done with cell division, we are done with genetics. This is the third chapter I am starting. Absorption by roots for the children uh, uh, for year 2023-24. Achha, herein I just want to inform that we will I'll soon be starting with the classes also. So please uh, share it with your friends and fellow mates and uh, near and dears that classes will be started soon. I will also be taking uh, regular chapter wise live sessions on YouTube plus individual attention classes will also be starting information for which will be provided soon. So let's start absorption by roots we are going to start. First of all let's understand why the roots they need water or why they need to absorb water. Water is absorbed by the roots like in Q. Why? So why is water absorbed by roots? Now water is absorbed by roots due to multiple reasons. One, it undergoes photosynthesis, it, help, it helps in transportation, it helps in transpiration as well which gives a cooling effect and plus it uh, helps in keeping the plant stiff. So multiple reasons involve photosynthesis, transportation, transpiration and giving you can say mechanical support or you can say giving shape to the plant. Let's discuss one by one. So in the process of photosynthesis, plants use up water to form food. In transportation, water dissolved, the nutrients and all are dissolved in the water and that water dissolved substances move from one place to another. So it helps in the mode of transportation. Transpiration provides a cooling effect. Transpiration provides a cooling effect. We will discuss it in detail when we will talk about the chapter transpiration. So whatever excessive water is there is transported out or transpired out from the plant. So this transpiration, it is providing a cooling effect to the plant. Mechanical support. Now, when you see, uh, if suppose a leaf has water in it or a plant has water in it, it is stiff, standing erect. But if the water goes out, excessive transpiration ho jayegi, and you don't give water to the plant, it wilts. The leaves, they droop down. So, what is it? Because that water is giving water, plants, they don't have a skeleton. So, what gives shape to the water? The turgid condition of water present. Turgid, uh, the water are present inside the plants provide it a turgidity, which helps it to remain stiff. Fine. So, it gives a kind of act as skeleton. Act as, um, you know, gives shape gives shape to the plant. So this is the reason why the plants have to absorb water. The next uh, topic underneath this would be that what are the characteristics or features, characters of roots to absorb water. What are the characteristic features which enable the roots to absorb more water? Let's see. The first characteristic is that the roots, they have a large surface, or enormous. Enormous surface area. Then roots have thin walls. Then root sap. I'll explain all, has high concentration as compared to to surrounding water or surrounding. Right? So, these are the certain characteristics which makes or enables the roots to absorb more water. Enormous surface area. Uh, I'll just make a root here. Just a 
this thing now roots they have further root here which further divide which further go which further 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 so enormous surface area as i have been explaining many a times uh surface area if i say this is one surface and this is maybe the another surface so kiska area zyada hai this has more surface area so that means if exchange is taking place or movement takes place it is more here as compared to this so these roots provide enormous surface area so that jahan jahan pe bhi wo ja raha hai wahan se pani absorb kar sake so this is one characteristic feature roots have thin walls walls of roots are thin roots they have a cell wall around them so cell wall is फ्रीली परमिएबल सब कुछ अंदर आने देता है एंड सेल मेम्ब्रेन इज सेमी परमिएबल टेंस टू स्टॉप द सल्यूट एंड अलाउज द सॉल्वेंट टू मूव फर्दर सो दिस थिननेस ऑफ द वॉल बट द सेल मेम्ब्रेन इज वेरी 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 फाइन एंड डेलीकेट विच अलाउज द वॉटर टू मूव और फ्लो और गेट एब्सॉर्ब बाय द रूट रूट सैप हैज हाई कॉन्सेंट्रेशन आई जस्ट मेक इट यूर ओनली so as this is the inside of a root the amount of water which is present here or the solution this is not just water it has dissolved minerals in it so this root sap root sap is concentrated is concentrated fine and due to osmosis if water which is surrounding outside it is less concentrated so pani jahan zyada hai zyada se kam ki taraf move karega bahar it is more water and under it is less water so water tends to move inside towards the concentrated sap when i say concentrated sap that means water is less so water from outside where more water is there it tends to move inside the roots hence these three characteristic features enable the roots to absorb more water now we have two things one the structure of a root here of root here and the second thing which i want to discuss here is the um direction or flow flow of water in roots these are two very important questions uh, from your paper point of view because many a times these diagrams are there in the paper and then you are asked to label it so let's understand when the structure of root that is a simple one so uh, when we make the structure of roots so aise karke epidermal cell se there is an extension which is the root and then further the cells are there root has a cell wall around it it has vacuoles in it it has a nucleus in it so let's just quickly label it um it has cell wall this is a simple one nucleus this is a vacuole as we know that in plants more amount of vacuoles are there and then uh, this is cytoplasm Fine. So these are the root extensions. इसको कई बार ऐसा भी पूछते हैं दट इफ सपोज लार्ज अमाउंट ऑफ फर्टिलाइजर इज पुट अराउंड दिस रूट वॉट विल हैपन सो दिस रूट बिकम लिम्प दिस इज एन एक्सटेंडेड रूट इट बिकम्स लिम्प वेन एक्सेसिव फर्टिलाइजर आर यूज हेयर बिकॉज क्या होता है वो पानी लूज कर देती है रूट सो दे विल्ट डायरेक्शन ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ रूट सो आई जस्ट मेक अ रफ डायग्राम बिकॉज आपके बुक में एक इलेबोरेटिव डायग्राम बना है जस्ट अ रफ वन टू एक्सप्लेन यू द मूवमेंट हाउ द मूवमेंट ऑफ द वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल टेक्स प्लेस सो वी से दिस डायगनल स्ट्रक्चर विच आई एम मेकिंग ये दीज आर जाइलम सेल्स fine and uh, inside we have phloem as you know that it's a vascular bundle vascular bundle mein xylem and phloem are arranged i'll just make one xylem cell just for your understanding hame sirf direction dekhna hai and then come the cells and finally one of them extends to form the root here fine so how or what is the uh, flow we are going to discuss so this water tends to move from here starting from the root here moving through the first layer i'll just make these cells epidermis so the first 
is epidermis root hair tends to move the water this is root hair root hair epidermis epidermis se hota hua water tends to move inside this whole is the cortex region so these are cortical cells if you say this is xylem this is phloem fine and here in we have the endodermis so what will be the flow of water flow of water will be passing through the epidermis passing through the cortical cells to the xylem xylem se hota hua pass hota hua endodermis se it enters inside so what is important here they ask you to rearrange this sequence galat mala jumble sequence is given and they ask you to rearrange so this is how it, this question is asked a very important question sometimes they give you the diagram and then they ask you to label it and all so please do this thoroughly So in our next video, we'll be uh, talking about, uh, we'll be discussing the various definitions. Sare definitions. There are around fifteen definitions in the chapter. So we'll be talking about each definition one by one. I'll give you the definition and I'll explain you. Fine. So keep watching, liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you.